Right guys, now let's work a couple of more problems in quotient rule and see how it works. Now, I would suggest you to work it out yourself. If you're not getting the problems, you can look at the board. It says uh, root of a minus root of x by root of a plus root of x. Again, I can see that there are two teams. Let's say this is u and v. What's your formula you have? That is v you know, d by dx of u minus u in you know, dv by dx of v squared all right so who's v v is the whole denominator all right so i go with a root of a plus root of x into differentiation of u who's u u is a numerator that is root a minus root x and minus of u u is a numerator that is root a minus root x and differentiation of d by dx of denominator that is root a plus root x and yeah that's it now the whole thing divided by b squared that should be your denominator square that is root a plus root x the whole square that's it now here i don't have anything to differentiate so I keep it like that that is root a plus root x and that's it and what about this guy root a is a number it is see for all you have root of x we know the formula is 1 by 2 root x right and root a is not equal to 1 by 2 root a right this is wrong Okay, this is wrong root a is a number let's say root of 9 is what 3 so 3 is a number differentiation of a number is 0 so differentiation of a number that is let's say root a is a number here in this case is 0 okay keep that in mind so i can write differentiation of root a is 0 and this is minus 1 by 2 root x right minus of i can take it as root of a minus root of x in how do you differentiate this guy 1 by 2 root x the whole thing divided by root a plus root x the whole square now can i simplify it more if possible yes if you can see that things can cancel out and think i can be simplified more by taking common or cancelling things out yes so here i can see that i have one by two root x and one by two root x i can take the lcm all right so i can see that the lcm is uh, two root x and uh, i can add the numerator because lcms are same here so I can write this minus sign still belongs to this. That is minus root a minus root x minus of, I can write this guy as root a minus root x. And if I open the brackets, see what you get. Uh, this whole thing divided by, you have root a plus root x, the whole squared, and see what you get. I have uh, minus root a minus root x minus root a and plus root x the whole thing divided by this can go up here that is 2 root x into root a plus root x the whole square so what happens here i can see that these guys would cancel up yes i get minus 2 root a by 2 root x into root a plus root x the whole square so i can see 2 and 2 is gone and what you left out with minus root a by root x into root a plus root x the whole square and that's all you answer all right all right guys now let's work with the second problem here on the board it's a simple quotient rule again i have this whole thing has to be u and this is v right so what's the formula i use d y by dx is what it should be v into du by dx minus u into dv by dx the whole thing divided by v squared so whose v is the denominator right so i'll write this guy here that's it that is uh, x squared plus x root x root 2 rather plus 1 and uh, differentiate the numerator that is this guy that is x squared minus x root 2 plus 1 minus of this minus and who's u u is the numerator now that is x squared minus x root 2 plus 1 into differentiation of the denominator that is uh, x squared plus x root 2 plus 1 so the whole thing divided by x squared plus x root 2 plus 1 the whole square now that's how it works now what is that we should differentiate here is this guy right this guy and this guy nothing much so what happens here it goes like x squared plus x root 2 plus 1 nothing to do here here how do i differentiate that is 2x and in root x root 2 okay this guy is almost same as let's say 3x okay where 3 is a number with x so i this guy is a number so what i do with this guy is just keep it outside and differentiate x what do you get differentiation of x is 1 so it is root 2 into 1 that's it nothing much so we understand this with x anything is there which is not a variable basically i just keep it outside so i can write uh, minus root 2 which is a constant differentiate x as 1 that's it plus differentiation of 1 is 0 so it's gone all right now minus x squared plus uh, i can write minus 
So bracket here, x root 2 plus 1. And how do you differentiate this? This is 2x. Again, this guy is a constant with x, so root 2 is the answer here. And with 1, it is 0. So that's whole. The answer is x root 2 plus 1 the whole squared. You can open the brackets here and simplify, and that's how it works. All right, uh, let's go with the next problem here. Now let's work with the third problem here. It says differentiate ax squared plus bx plus c divided by px squared plus qx plus r. All right, now see anything with x squared that is a constant here, right? It, it basically is behave, behaves like this let's say 2 or let's say that 3x squared. How do you differentiate this? 3 into d by dx of x squared that goes like what? 3 uh, into 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 that is. 3 into 2x. Okay, that's how it is, right? So our shortcut, I just multiply these two guys, that is 6x. All right, that's it. That's your answer. Now, I have to treat a as any other constant that we just took. So how do you differentiate this guy? Let's see. First of all, use the rule v by u here. What happens? Uh, differentiation, that is v, that is uh, px squared plus qx plus r into d by dx of, let's say, ax squared plus bx plus c minus ax squared plus bx plus c into d by dx of what you have is this guy that is px squared plus qx plus r all right now cool i have to do nothing with this no differentiation sign so i'll just write like px squared plus qx plus r and uh, differentiate this guy see as in, if you have 3x squared, as I said, that is 6x, right? So I multiply these two guys, that is 3 is here and 2x. Similarly, a is the number, keep it aside and just differentiate 2x, that's it. With b, x, the answer is b itself and c is the number, that is 0, nothing much, all right? So just behave, uh, let, let a, b, c behave like numbers are constant and just treat them like those numbers only. Now, what about this case? I have ax squared, plus bx plus c and differentiate this guy there's what again p into x b into 2x basically because differentiation of x squared is 2x q into addition of x is 1 and this guy is 0 the whole thing divided by i can write denominator squared that is okay, it's here also that is a p x squared plus q x plus r whole squared so p x squared plus q x plus r the whole square that's what you have very simple now if you want to open the brackets open the brackets and simplify it that's how it works all right so let's go with the next problem and see what happens in the last thing let's work the last problem here on the board it says uh, differentiate cos x minus sin x divided by cos x plus sin x same basic rule let me write cos x plus sin x that is denominator into differentiation of the numerator that is cos x minus sin x minus cos x minus sin x into the differentiation of the numerator that is or denominator that is sin x or cos x cos x plus sin x now what happens the whole thing divided by denominator the whole square that is sin x the whole square so what happens here that is cos x plus sin x how do you differentiate this differentiate of cos x basic rules that is minus sin x here minus of sin x is cos x that's it yep minus i can write cos of x minus sin x how do you differentiate this that is minus sin x plus cos x yes these are the basic formulas of differentiation right cos x plus sin x is what you have whole squared cool you can see that here also we are differentiating one function at a time right so now let's go ahead can i multiply these two guys yes that is minus sin x cos x again cos x into cos x is minus cos squared x I can write these together the minus sine x the whole squared minus sine x into cos x minus let the bracket be outside let us open this guys first so what do you get um, cos into minus sine is minus cos x into sine x minus into plus is plus cos squared x minus into minus is plus sine squared x minus and plus is minus sin x cos x is what you have the whole thing divided by the denominator squared that is cos x plus sin x the whole squared now how do you simplify this guy let me do it here again you can see that 
this one half here yep. so can you write this guy just like that yes this guy is minus sine x and cos x minus cos square x minus sine square x minus sine x cos x okay if i open the brackets there's minus minus is plus i can write cos x sine x minus cos square x minus sine square x these guys will become minus, this guy will become plus. That is plus sine x cos x. Okay, the whole thing divided by cos x plus sine x. The whole square. Now see what happens. Can I cancel something? I can see that sine x cos x is gone here. Done. And sine x cos is gone here again. So what's left out? I'm left out with I have a minus. If I take a minus sign out here, I'll get minus taking common out. That is cos squared x plus sine squared x. Again, I'll take minus common to these guys. That is minus 1 into I what? Cos squared x plus sine squared x. Yes. The whole thing divided by cos x plus sine x, the whole square. This looks like 1. The basic formula of uh, trigonometry, sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So I can write minus 1 and this also is 1. Minus 1 divided by cos x plus sine x, the whole square. And that goes like minus 2 divided by sine x plus cos x the whole square now that's your simple answer i hope you understand this it's a very simple problem